गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन आज बात कर रहे हैं हम लोग प्रपोजिशंस की प्रपोजिशंस एंड कॉमन मिस्टेक्स कई बार ऐसा हो जाता है कि आपको समझ में नहीं आता है इन होगा एट होगा ऑन होगा इन टू होगा क्या होगा दीज आर वेरी ट्रिकी पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच एंड विच की कमिंग इन योर सेंटेंसेस and they pose a lot of problems if you are getting it wrong so let us took, let, uh, take a look at the exercises and some sentences and how to rectify them so find the mistakes in the sentences sometimes no prepositions are required so the first is number 1 yeah there are 20 sentences which are brought for you and we are going to rectify all these 20 he told me he told to me that he liked the gift he told to me that he liked the gift do you think this is a right sentence is the to required over here sometimes they are not like He told me to sit down. He told me to go home. He told me to read some sentences. When he told me, and there's a verb following to, then you can use to. He told me to sit down. He told me to stand up. He told me to read. To plus verb, fine. But then. sometimes he verb plus me he told me he told her he told them so he told me that he liked the gift here the to is not required right he told me that he liked the gift the second sentence at the end we decided to go for a movie at the end we decided to go for a movie is there an error in it yes hai it will be in the end ant me in the end we decided to go for a movie आखिर में हम लोगों ने डिसाइड किया कि हम लोग को मूवी जाना चाहिए वी डिसाइडेड इन द एंड वी डिसाइडेड टू गो फॉर अ मूवी नॉट एट द एंड सो ह्योर द एट इज नॉट कॉल्ड फॉर द एरर इज इन द एट इट विल बी इन द एंड द थर्ड इज ही वॉज इन द पार्टी you may think this is correct but then it isn't we use in for a larger space and at for a smaller one for example i live in patna at boring road he was in the party no he was your in is uncalled for and you are going to say it as he was at the party he was we are going to read the correct sentences in the end so let me go ahead with it so he was at the party not in at the party the next is they arrived to patna they arrived to patna without problems they arrived to patna they arrived in patna the two here is uncalled for they arrived in patna without much problems or without any problem the fifth i went to delhi for visit a friend 
please correct this as they arrived in Patna. I went to Delhi for visit a friend. Any option? Yes. I went to Delhi to visit a friend. To visit a friend. They went to Delhi to visit a friend. Number six, they sat in front to us. Any problem over here? They sat in front to us. They sat in front of us. They sat in front of us. I had lunch when I came back to home. I had lunch when I came back to home. I had lunch when I came back home. Year two is not required. Sometimes you can delete the prepositions. I had lunch when I came back home. Or when you have to use two, if you want to really use two. I had lunch when I came to my house. To my house, right? But then why make it complicated? I had lunch when I came from, came back home. Oh, I had lunch when I came, when I reached home. Two only if you're talking about a house. You went to his house. They went to their house. Two, Two if only you're using house. Otherwise, no. Yesterday, she called to me. Yesterday, yesterday she called me. The preposition is not required. Yesterday she called me. Today I'm going to call her. Let us call them. Anyways, so yesterday she called to me is wrong. Yesterday she called me. I counted them one to one. I counted something. I counted the money. I counted the files. I counted the books. One to one? No. I counted the them. It can be books. It can be just about anything. I counted them one by one. So it is going to be one by one. Number 10. Apart from this, everything is fine. Apart, apart of this, everything is fine. Matlab, iske alawa, sab kuch hai. Apart from this, everything is fine. So the off is not required over here. Apart from this. Apart from. Apart from this, everything is absolutely fine. Iske siwa sab kuch theek hai, achcha hai, fine. Number 11, I saw a good film in TV. No, I saw a good film, I saw a good movie. It is going to be on. I saw a good film on TV. What is on the television tonight? Did you watch the news on TV? So if you're talking about TV, it's always on. The 12th. I asked to the doctor a question. I asked to the doctor. I asked the doctor. 
आई आस्क द डॉक्टर अ क्वेश्चन मैंने डॉक्टर से एक सवाल पूछा I asked the doctor a question, not to the doctor. Thirteen. They live near to us. Can you guess the error over here? They live near to us. They live. Delete the two, and your sentence is perfectly fine. They live near us. He lives fra far from us. They live near us, near us. And sometimes you can say, वो लोग बहुत दूर रहते हैं. वे बहुत नजदीक रहते हैं. They live हमारे पास रहते हैं. They live near us, near us. And they live far from us. Sometimes near us. Sometimes you can insert. When you're talking about, when you're making a sentence like they live far from us, वो हमसे बहुत दूर हमसे और हमारे नजदीक near us. Fourteen. Now I bet this ninety percent people speak incorrectly. Tonight there's a film with Amitabh Bachchan. It means रात में एक फिल्म है जिसमें अमिताभ बच्चन काम कर रहे हैं. Tonight there's a film with अमिताभ बच्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन न्यू लर्नर्स इन इंग्लिश दे मेक मिस्टेक्स मोस्टली ऑन वर्ब्स एंड प्रपोजिशंस नंबर फिफ्टीन दे लव्ड ऑफ हिम कैन यू गेस्ट द वर्ड दे लव्ड At him, they laughed at him. किसी पे हंसना तो नहीं चाहिए, but then sometimes it happens. People laughed at other people, which is so really wrong. So they laughed at him. Number sixteen. We went to a restaurant at my birthday. Any guess? We went to a restaurant. Now the word restaurant. This is a French word, and the T is silent. You know, it is not restaurant, but it is restaurant. The T is silent. The consonants, the last consonant in the word is always silent in uh, in French. So let us let us take a look at. We went to a restaurant on my birthday. we use on for special occasions like on christmas eve on durga puja diwali so we went to a restaurant on my birthday where did you go 17 i am going to my hometown on the weekend this sentence is correct i am going to my to my i am going to my hometown on my weekend and i am going to my hometown in the week, in the weekend dono sahi hai either ways the americans will all, would always talk about on the weekend and the, and we talk about in the weekend number 18 i always get lazy in home Is there? A, I always get lazy at home. So be very careful. I always get lazy at him at home. घर पे थोड़ी आलस हो जाती है सब. Nineteen. She's in the university. So. what can be the rectification she is yes you're right she's at the university so like, always remember like in for a larger space and at for smaller 
20. I got to home very late. I got to home very late. I got home very late. The two here is uncalled for. I got home very late. They are then I say, yeah, then you say, I get home very I got home very late. Main der se main der se I got home. You can always say I came home, but then I got home. I got home very late. Now let us read some sentences, some propositions, and some correct sentences. He told me that he liked it. He told me that he liked the gift which I gave him. Here too is not required. In the end, we decided to go for the picnic. In the end, we decided to go home. In the end, we decided to stay back. In the end, Jane was at the wedding. Jane was at the at the wedding. Not in the wedding, but at the wedding. They arrived in Paris without problems. Okay, you want to go to Paris? They arrived in Paris without problems. I went to Delhi to visit a client. I went to Delhi to visit a client. She sat in front of us. She sat. She sat in front of us. I had dinner when I came back home. I had dinner when I came back home from office. I had lunch when I got home. I came back home or I had lunch when I got home. Yesterday she called up or she phoned her friends in USA. She phoned whom? She phoned or she called her friends wherever. Yesterday she called her friends. Yesterday she found a friend in living in Delhi. I counted them one by one. You know, there was a, a story with Jim and Della. And Della was counting the money. She counted it thrice, one coin after the other. One by one she counted it. So I counted them one by one. Apart from this, everything is fine. Iske sawa, sab kuch bahut achcha hai. Apart from this, everything is absolutely fine. I saw a good film on TV. I asked the doctor a question. They live near us. Tonight there's a film with Amitabh Bachchan. They laughed at him. He went to a restaurant. We went to a restaurant on birthday. I am going somewhere. I'm going to my friend's place at the weekend. I always get lazy at home. She is at the university. And the last. I got home very late. I came home very late. So you know what you know what you do? You have to do exercises on prepositions. If you want to be really good at it, if you want to learn how to write correctly, then it's very important. It's imperative that you do exercises like these on prepositions. And then we'll come, we'll take up some phrases with prepositions. So that's all for today. Hope things are doing fine. You're going fine. You're doing fine. And keep learning because this is the only way. And education, as I said, I keep on saying this in class all the time. There is no shortcut to education. You have to burn the midnight oil.
to learn, 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 and then enjoy your life. It takes great pains, you know, to prepare yourself for the future. But then, do you have a choice? No. So, fasten your seat belts and continue with your good work. That's all for today. Take care.